Hey everybody, this is video number two of this tutorial on App Inventor. And uh, once again, we are on App, uh, MIT App Inventor number two. This is the beta version. Um, and we were le uh, leaving off because the, the last video was getting a little bit long. So I'll go ahead and make this into video number two of this series. Um, and we were talking about the button. So let's go ahead and get back to where we left off. We had just renamed our button to show text because we are going to be making this button show text when the button is clicked, okay? So this should be overall pretty simple. I'm going to try to make it as simple as, uh, as possible because there's so many videos out there that seem to make things so hard and they just fly through it. And I don't, I don't want to be that person. I want you to actually be able to learn and understand it and not have to watch the video 20 times or keep looking for other videos. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we want to change the text for our button. So that's what actually shows on our button here, okay? And once again, once we have the show text button that we renamed, we go over here to our properties. This is where everything about this button is located. So we'll go down here to our text and we'll call it, um, what does it say, show text. And you push enter to save basically. And as you can see, our button now says show text. So, so far, basically, you should have a button that says show text. The button should actually be renamed show text, and you don't want any spaces. And you rename that by clicking the button. It should be called button one and renaming it. And your background should be black. And you should not have anything up here in your, uh, what's it called, the, the title bar, okay? So, I know I said we was just going to be talking about buttons, but it's kind of pointless to do anything with a button, right, unless we make it do something. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it show something that I'll think of. Um, so let's go ahead and get our label over here under our user interface on the left side of the screen. And you'll see where we found and drug the button. Now we're going to look for the label. And here is our label button. Or not our label button. This is the label, but we'll click and drag, and we will bring it out here. And since our background is black and the text is black, uh, we can't see it, right? So what do we got to do about that? We've got to figure out first to change the color, and we'll probably want to make the text bigger. So we'll come over here. We can click on it right here, or we can click on label one right here. First, let's name it. We'll just call it, um, we'll just call it output. So that's going to be outputting our text when we click our show text button. Okay, hopefully you're on the same page as me right now. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible here. So um, just follow along, and you'll you'll kind of see how it all works once we actually start putting together the blocks to make this work. But we have our button, our label. We named the actual button output. So that's what our uh, button is called. Now we can change the background color of the label, but I don't like ever doing that because it looks weird. So what I like to do is actually come down here to text color, and let's change our text color to red. So, aha, there we see it says text for label 1, okay? You wonder why that little green bar is there? Well, it's not really there. You can just click the black area, and that's just basically whatever you have selected. So when you actually um, run the app, on your phone or tablet or whatever, um, the screen stuff won't be there. Okay, so now we want to change this. Um, you can put whatever you want over here in the properties for the output button. And you come down to the text field. I'm just going to type my website link right there. And I want to make it bigger. So what do I do? I come up to the font size and I'll change the font size. Let's see what. 20 looks like. I'll type 20 and push enter. I made it a little bit bigger. Let's try, let's see what 30 looks like. Okay, that looks good. So, we have our show text button and when we click that, it's going to make this label appear. Okay? Now you might be thinking, wait, the label is already there. Why would we want something to appear that's already there? Okay, that's what we're going to do when we get into the back end. So it looks like everything is set up and ready to go here. So now let's go over here to the back end. Um, it's actually your blocks up here in the top right corner. 
So go over here and click blocks. And it'll load up the screen that make it may look a little bit scary to you, but it's really not. Like I said, you don't need to have any um, coding background. I have a little bit, um, but I'm definitely not a professional, and I can do this just fine. Um, and I know you can too. So anyway, what we're going to want to do is over here on the left side, you'll see our show text button. So we're going to click on that, and then you see all these options, and you're like, oh my goodness. I don't understand any of this. That's fine, I'm gonna show you. So your first option up here, and it may change throughout time, but we're looking for when show text button basically is clicked, we want it to do what? So we'll click this and just drag it out here anywhere. It doesn't matter. So when show text is clicked, that button is clicked, what do we want it to do? So we come over here and find our output label. And we're going to look for, let's see, where is it at? Actually, first, I want to do something else so it, it's more in order. We're going to get our screen one over here. And when it's initialized, we're going to actually make our label disappear right when the app opens. So then that makes this app make more sense because we're going to make the label appear basically. Or you can make it disappear, you can do it however you want, but if you're new to this I recommend you just follow the directions and everything should work out perfectly. So let's head on over, we're going to block, so when the screen one basically is opened, we want to hide right here, set output which is our label name, visibility basically. So we're going to take that and drag it right here and it should pop in. If it pops in, that means it's compatible. These two things are compatible and it should work out right. Then we want to come to our logic and this is basically where I'll find our true and false statements. So we have it to where this is visible. Do we want it to be visible? or well, it already is. So we want it to do false. So it's saying when, when screen one is opened, when it's initialized, we want to set the output labels visibility false. So that means it's off basically. Okay. So now let's go back over to our button. Sorry again, I got ahead there. I just want this to make as much sense as possible. Now we're going to find the same visibility thing once again now you can we can click on this and you can do control C click on the white and it'll paste it but it may be a little complicated if you're new oops wrong side drag it down here to the trash can and delete something so we'll go back to our output and we want to same that find that same visibility for our output so here it is set output visibility basically drag it into our button now what do we want it to do since we first made it to where it's false which means it's not going to show when the screen opens okay so we want to go over here to logic again and find our true statement and we're going to drag it here so if you kind of read exactly what these say you should click in your head and be like aha I understand it a hundred percent so when screen one is open we want it to set our output visibility off okay but when the button show text is clicked what do we want it to do we want it to set the output visibility to true that's basically all there is to this app okay so now when you can export this app we're running out of time again like we did in the first video but you go up here to build and you can do the QR or you can just do the save the APK to my computer I always do that and then you can have it on your computer and then put it on your phone through Dropbox or however you want to do it click that when you run the app click the button it will make whatever you typed in your label over here become visible and you can see it Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, check out my website, noxad.org. I'll see you later.